Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. So today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of By Invitation by Michael Bublé. So this perfume launched this year, 2016, and it is Michael Bublé's debut fragrance. So we actually found out about this fragrance, I would say probably January, February of this year. Um, we didn't find out what the name was. They kind of kept the name a big secret up until the launch, and then it kind of leaked a little bit beforehand. It was out a few places, um, and then once it launched, it was called by invitation. So this is... I will say I'm very surprised with this fragrance, um, and I'll tell you why when I get into the notes. But we'll go over box and bottle and all that stuff first. So the front of the box looks like this. It says, By Invitation by Michael Bublé, 100 milliliters Eau de Parfum. And I really just kind of like, like how this box is. It is textured, um, and then I kind of like how this is in like this kind of shiny gold color. It says, it's got just like the Michael Bublé logo on top. And then it's just got a bunch of information on the bottom. And then just like your general flamm flammable hazardous stuff. Which I'm not sure why that wasn't put back here and they felt the need to print it on the bottom. Who knows. So, the bottle looks like this. And it says, By Invitation by Michael Bublé. Um, it's kind of this circular bottle. And then you have like the actual fragrance part is suspended. Like there's a gap underneath here. I was very surprised by this. Like I noticed it when I saw pictures of the bottle. Um, but I didn't... Like, for some reason, I thought this was something else, and I don't know why it was, like, such a gap. But it's kind of like a bouncy metal, I guess. I mean, it's not super bouncy, but... And then the lid looks like this. So you would think you either, like, pull the pin out, or, like, it would just spray straight off. Except for it comes off like this. You have just, like, a traditional gold sprayer on it. And then the other cool thing is there is a little hidden, um... MB right down here. So, there's that. Um, and also, like, it's got this cool, like, this is very, like, if I would think Michael Bublé were designed a perfume bottle, this is very what I think he would do, because it is very simple and very chic. Um, it's got a little bit of modernness in it, but it's also got a little bit of classiness to it, which Michael Bublé is very, like, both size. He does have very, like, a classic sound to him, so. Fragrance notes for Michael Bublé. Top notes are red fruits and bergamot. Middle notes are lily the valley. Jasmine, peony, and rose. Base notes are sandalwood, musk, vanilla, and praline. So, when he first announced this fragrance and first kind of talked about it, he did say that um, he wanted to gear it more toward his female audience, which his female audience is not a female audience that would go more for the younger teen or boppy fragrances so this is definitely a more mature fragrance um not super mature it's not like elizabeth taylor's white diamond or chanel number no. five but it is a more mature fragrance but what i will say very 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 surprised in this fragrance um so before i got this fragrance i refused to read any descriptions or any reviews or anything kind of like i normally do um it did take me a little bit longer to get this than normal um, and that was just because time at launch versus the time I bought it, so on and so forth. So, but, um, when I first got it, first initially sprayed it, my brain instantly went to another fragrance, and it's not exactly the same, and I'll tell you guys what I think that fragrance is toward the end of this video, because I don't want to say it straight off the bat. If you had this fragrance and you have the other fragrance, you might know what I'm talking about, but... So, okay. Top, when you first, first spray it, I get a little bit of the red fruit and the bergamot, but it's not, like, super there. I think the bergamot's there a little bit more than the red fruit is. Um, but it gives it a little bit of a fruity edge. Um, you definitely get more of the dry down. It starts to dry down, and I get the rose, I get the peony, I get the lily of the valley, I get the jasmine, I get all four of the florals. Um, they kind of come together to create this just elegant bouquet of florals that if it was a bouquet it would have more roses and peonies in it than jasmines and lily of the valley but they all are for there and you could pick out each one um if i had to pick a dominant floral 
I would say it would be the rose, but it's not your typical like Viva La Juicy Rosé or any of the other rose fragrances. It's a different edge of a rose and I really, really like that. It gives it a whole nother element of the rose that's in here. So I do really, really like that. As it dries down, one of the standout notes of this fragrance comes out in that base and it's the sandalwood. Definitely one of those standout notes. You get the vanilla, you get the musk, and you get the praline. I would say top four notes would be the sandalwood, the um, praline, the rose, and maybe the peony. You Some of the other notes are going to kind of battle it out, but top three I'd definitely say would rose, sandalwood, and um, peony. So I really, it's different. Um, I'm very surprised that the notes weren't changed at all. Um, because I posted on Instagram a really long time ago when we first found out about this, what, like, Michael Bublé perfume coming soon, and then I posted all the notes below it. I'm very surprised that none of them changed from that. But it is a more mature fragrance. It does last a really long time. I'd say probably about a 9 to 10 hour lasting time and continuing from there. It isn't overpowering and overdone. It's not choking out. It's noticeable. Um, people are going to notice you're wearing something, but they're not going to notice it from across the room. They're going to notice it if they're in a close environment. It is kind of a central fragrance, but I feel like with the name by Invitation, that you would want, it would be almost something a little bit more sensual, a little bit more, um, soft. I feel like this is soft, but I feel like it is a little bit stronger than I would imagine something called, being called by invitation would smell like. But it has a very similarity to another fragrance, and that fragrance is Marc Jacobs Decadence. So, and I totally turned that around backwards, but Marc Jacobs Decadence does definitely smell like this. There's a, there is a noticeable difference if you were to smell the both of them um, side by side. This is hella strong in comparison to this, um, but neither one is bad in my opinion. If I were to pick one over the other, I'd probably pick uh, By Inventation, only because with the fragrance that it is, it is a little bit easier to wear. It's not as super strong. It's not as... With Decadence, I feel like when you spray it, one spray is enough, two sprays you're pushing it, and I feel like it's one of those fragrances that if you walk in the room, everyone's going to smell you and everyone's going to notice you, which is good. Some people like that, and I'm not saying that's bad. By Invitation is more of the office-appropriate version of Decadence. Um, it's a little bit more free. Um, By Invent or Decadence has iris and some other notes in it that kind of weigh down the heaviness of the fragrance and kind of keep it heavy throughout. By Invitation, I feel like, lightens up as you wear it and is more of an office daytime appropriate version of dec decadence but that being said i still don't feel like this is a daytime fragrance i feel like this could be a signature fragrance i feel could be definitely be someone's signature scent um but i feel like it would take a very powerful woman to pull this off as our signature scent um because it is it is a noticeable statement fragrance um but it I just blows my mind how two completely different companies um, did this. Because a brand new fragrance company did this with Michael Bublé. And had no you know correlation with Marc Jacobs or Cody or anything like that. And they created a fragrance that was almost spot on. And he's been working on this fragrance for a really, really long time. So I don't feel like he smelled decadence because he said that he wanted to create a fragrance that he had never smelled before. So I wonder if he's ever smelled Decadence to be like, well, I didn't really create something that's never been smelled before. But that's just me. Um, I do really like this one. Um, very, very surprised. It wasn't your typical celebrity fragrance, and it wasn't going to be... I felt like with him saying it was going to be a more mature fragrance, that we were going to get something that was going to be super powdery and super um, heavy and harsh and just i that's not what this fragrance is it is the you know the praline adds a sweetness to the fragrance i definitely feel like helps the fragrance out so so much and creating not your normal celebrity fragrance and i would love to see michael blue blake continue to do fragrances i would love to see what he has because 
he worked on every process of this fragrance and it was supposed to launch back in June and they moved the launch back because he there was just certain things that, like the bottle he wanted to get right and it wasn't right when he you know first did it so that he pushed it back and just the fact that he continued to push it back until it was perfect shows a lot as a um as a celebrity in a fragrance market because a lot of times celebrities don't put a lot into their fragrances they kind of just like oh well yeah that's good and they just slap their name on it and let it go so i really like that he kind of put pride and joy in this and i would love to see him continue his line and i would love to see other michael blue Blade fragrances come out and maybe him create one that a younger audience would like and another version that you know it a daytime version versus like this isn't necessarily a nighttime version i could see it being a daytime version as well but i mean couple spin-offs of by invitation just because i do really like the simplicity of this bottle i think it's gorgeous so there you guys go there is my review of um by invitation by michael Bublé. for some reason i want to say mark jacobs because of decadence i'm so sorry but anyway by invitation by michael Bublé. if you guys like this review please hit the thumbs up button thank you guys so so much for watching if you like this video subscribe as always guys follow me on twitter a the s perfume and instagram among the stars perfume links are in the description below as always guys thanks so much for watching bye